Hi, my name is Maverick, and behind me is the world's largest beaver here in Alberta, Canada. All right, here we are, the start of our journey. Here in Dawson Creek, this is the mile zero of the Elkan, which is the Canadian Alaskan Highway we're about to embark on for the indefinite future. Join me, will you? Please. We're gonna go right there. This highway is over 1,200 miles long. It was built during World War II. From the research I've done, apparently only the first 28 miles of this road is paved. I've gone about two miles so far, so I'll keep you updated on that. So right now I'm in BC, Canada uh, for the first time actually, and I'm going to be heading through the Yukon into the Northern Territories and then finally into Alaska. The whole route is telling me that it's about 2,300 kilometers, which I think is around 1,900 miles, but don't quote me on that. All I know is I'm gonna be driving for the next 26 hours to reach my end destination of Anchorage. And uh, I'm imagining it's gonna be broken up over the course of a few days. I'm also imagining that there's going to be lots of scenery, mountains, possible hot springs, um, maybe less than adequate roads, but fingers crossed. In total, over the next four days, I will be doing over 24 hours of driving. Jeez, man. These guys are trying to kill me. What is that? Holy man. Also, here's a little uh, fun fact for you. If you are caught going 40 kilometers over, in the state of BC, Canada, your car gets impounded for uh, seven days. So let's not let's not do that. And now all of a sudden it's raining. How's it going? You just want two vehicles on the bridge at a time. So you can go down, but you go wait until you cross the bridge, and then you cross the bridge. Okay. Yep. Go down and wait for vehicles yep. to cross. All right. Thank you. Yep. Was that the truck the truck fire? Yeah, I heard about that. I was worried that it was gonna be shut down. Thanks for the thanks for the info though. See the front end of the bridge right there? An oil truck actually caught on fire and blew up right there. So so far. I've been completely wrong about this road. It's very nice and paved, and I've been on it for um, like 200 miles. All right, better get back in the truck. All right, this might not look like much here, but this is the last city before we get into the Rocky Mountains. So this is where I'm gonna stop for tonight. Oh, I was gonna place an order. Okay. Whoa. All right, I got my food. Now I'm driving to a campsite. Just pick any spot back here and just back here. Okay, sounds okay. good. We got some new candies I'm at my first truck camping spot. 
of the trip, just to make it easy on myself. It's got bathrooms and showers. This is the real reason I wanted to be close to a bathroom tonight. Seven out of ten. Well, even like a six. Six out of ten. Final answer. Alright, night number one. See you in the morning. So last night I stayed in the foothills of the Rockies. I had myself. I had myself a Donair and some samosa and went to bed very early. I also woke up with a little frog in my throat. Oh my. Right now I'm filling up with gas because this is the last spot for gas for quite some time. There's a couple lodges along the way that may have some gasoline, but better stock up now. I've also been made aware that gas trucks haven't been coming up here because of that bridge that's been blown out. So, um, fingers crossed. Right after I leave this town, it's about to be getting pretty. All right, now we're getting into it. It's getting absolutely gorgeous out now. We're in the Rocky Mountains, baby. All right, I have to pull off and show you guys this quick. Look at this view. Absolutely gorgeous. I've officially made it into the Rocky Mountains. It's safe to say that things are starting to get just a little bit more scenic. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, that was caribou? All right, see you guys. Thanks for coming. <laughs> We're out here now. Those bulls. Gotta let them know who's boss, you know? So tell me more about this. So you're just you're walking with nice a cart. To nice to meet you, Maverick. Yeah, yeah Maverick. Well, uh, I travel two times by car, motorcycle, bike, hitchhike. One day I said, one never walk. It's amazing experience because when you travel as well, you see much more. <laughs> yeah. You meet many people. It's, for example, when you drive your car, it's like uh, watching a movie. Yeah. When you walk like uh, reading a book, huh? yeah, you can see the all the books. Yeah, you can see know, everything. Yeah, 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 all the details. Yeah, I crossed Europe from Turkey to Portugal, and I walk a little bit in in Africa, in Morocco. Okay. And this is my second continent, and from the end to the end, from Alaska to Argentina. That's amazing. So, did you make this yourself? Yeah. It's like a. This is my project. I have. It's like a bike here wheels. Here. Uh, with a lot of in, in Europe, it's too easy to cross uh, because a uh, ten and ten mile have a little town. Uh -huh. But here in Alaska, in, in uh, Yukon Territory, Canada, yeah. it's a long, long way. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to figure that out, even in the truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah here I have uh, everything. This is my house. Awesome. Yeah. You got time? And every day I try and uh, walk uh, 36 miles a day. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you want to see my truck? This is what I travel in. I've been uh, to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel like I'm boasting since you have to walk so far today. If you want, we can change. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll meet you halfway. 
Um, do you need anything? Do you want like a water or anything? I have everything. Everything? Yeah, yeah. All right. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Take a picture. picture. Yeah. <laughs> it is so awesome, dude. That's crazy. So you just literally travel around with this thing. That's it. This was that. I felt like I was traveling minimally, and this guy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, crazy man. Guy. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. But I I admire your I admire your uh, drive. That's amazing. Look my shoe. Yeah. 1600 uh, miles. Do you want another pair of shoes? I have. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see you again. Hey, huh? safe travels. Here I am just driving around. And this man is literally walking the Alaskan highway. That's crazy, man. Stop number two, Machuno Lake. The road goes right by the lake, so I've been looking for a lot of fish activity. I saw a couple like splashing back there, but I don't have a fishing license for this province, so. I could have literally just parked in the middle of the road too because there's just no, there's nobody out here. On the road again. Also fair to mention that I haven't had service in over two hours, so. I do have a satellite phone with me and a uh, Garmin inReach just in case things get hairy. But I am not able to buy a fishing license online right now. I have a feeling if I had a license, I would be, uh, I'd be dragging some feet to get uh, out of this place. Glad I wasn't fishing because I literally just drove by two game wardens. That'd be just my luck. Oh my God. There's wild buffalo right here. Yeah, big hoss and little hoss. This is insane. There's like a hundred of them. There's some there, there's some up here. I thought buffalo were going extinct. Hey, aren't you supposed to be extinct? That's amazing. That's insane. <laughs> All right, I'm only about 20 minutes away from the hot springs. How can I help you? Um, I was just hoping to use the hot springs. Yeah, it's $5, please. Okay, do you take card or just cash? Just cash. Okay, I only have American, is that all right? Uh, wait, actually, wait, hang on. I might have five bucks. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. then I have to give you Yeah, ah, there we go. We are at the Liard Hot Springs. I feel like dog water right now, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of worrisome. It's like every time I go on a trip, I get sick. Like I feel like I'm getting a temperature and I definitely have a sore throat and I'm congested. So it's just a bummer. Do I look pale? Man, you're supposed to tell me I look good. Oh, you're supposed to tell me I look good. Mm. He's with. All right, well, that's nice to know at least. All right, we're at the Lillard Hot Springs. Absolutely gorgeous. Happy that I made a stop here. Hopefully, it makes me uh, get some pep in my step. This is nice. Water's so clear. All right, I'm gonna enjoy some time in here and uh, see you when I get back to the truck. That was so relaxing. I think I just spent the last hour and a half in there. Definitely make the stop if you're doing this road trip. I feel relaxed now, but I also feel like really tired. You guys are wondering why I'm moving so quickly through everything. It's because my parents are actually meeting me in Alaska in four days. Yeah, four days including today, so less than four. And I've got 18 hours left of driving, so we gotta keep moving forward. Almost to Yukon, and it looks like this is a 
detour it actually goes off of the highway for a little bit the highway's right up there we're going down this little trail right here first time in over 900 kilometers that i have gone off that road it's about 3 30 in the afternoon probably gonna drive till about 6 37 tonight All of the driving I've done, I just found out I am still 23 hours of driving to Anchorage. <laughs> and the place that I thought I was going to drive to tonight is nine hours. I definitely do not have nine hours in me. All right, back to the drawing board. Head north on Adela Trail, then turn right onto Alaska Highway. This is a rough road. This is tough. Give yourself longer than a week for this road trip. We're doing it. We're doing this thing. Almost matches that. Which almost matches these. You guys noticed like a month ago um, I actually did switch out the tires on my truck and I wasn't gonna announce it until I got some road testing on them but these are some of my favorite tires that I've ever tried that's right folks I'm excited to announce that I am now a partner with General Tire you guys aren't familiar they've been in business for over 100 years it's honestly one of the reasons that I partnered with them but they've got some pretty cool vintage merchandise out there which I'm having a blast buying like this is a cat but the best part is, is that I actually love these tires. Um, they look great on this truck. I mean, they look aggressive. I love the tread pattern. Um, and it's the first time I've actually even put the white lettering on the outside. I just think it looks, it complements the truck really nice. One thing I've also noticed about these tires is that they have super low road noise. And from what I can tell after putting around 5,000 miles on these things so far, the treads are gonna stay for a long time. I mean, I even like these things so much, I had them put them on Steve. That's saying something, right? General Tire comes with a 45 day customer satisfaction, so if you guys don't like the tires within 45 days of buying it, they'll be covered. There's also a limited treadwear warranty for 60,000 miles, so if you have any issues within those 60,000, General Tire is going to take care of you. Again, I can't recommend these tires enough. Um, if you go ahead and check out the link in the description, you can find a dealer near you. Now, I need to find some food. All right, so we are right here at Watson Lake. This next town is two and a half hours. Whitehorse is four and a half. And then where we're ending up right here in Anchorage is almost 23 hours away, apparently. We're not really in good standing right now. I'd like to play wonton soup by Little B. Wow, that's a lot of food. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you. Alright. Here in Watson Lake, we've got the signpost forest. And there are signs for as far as the eye can see. It's like an overwhelming amount of signs. Wisconsin. Ooh, Purple Heart from Wisconsin. That's amazing. Tom G. What's up, Tom? Blaine? I used to work in Blaine. Dude, there's so many signs. Inviting, isn't it? Oh, I brought a bit that's too big. Here, let's just do our dirty. <laughs> Ooh! Whoa! 
Well, okie dokie. That's enough excitement for today. Looks like my front license plate fell off somewhere along Alaskan Highway. Whoopsies! How you doing? Doing alright, you? Not too bad, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm all day. I see you got motels here, motel yes. rooms. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's no four seasons. It's like 8 p.m. and I'm going to bed. Do I look good? Because I feel great. Well, that was probably one of the worst nights of sleep I've ever got. All right, so this is where I ended up staying last night. The Continental Divide Motel. There's an RV park here. And they have uh, some rooms available for cheap. Very thankful that I ran across this spot. On the road again. We are now on the latter half of our road trip. I have about 500 miles, actually even less than 500 miles before I hit the Alaskan border, which I'm very excited about. Our next stop is the Yukon Bringia Interpretive Center. I don't know. Is that how you say it? I'm trying. Giant short faced bear, eh? I'm glad you're not around anymore, buddy. Ground sloth. So, this museum's all about the uh, first humans 15,000 years ago and the animals that were a part of the Yukon uh, Siberia land bridge. So, it's pretty cool to see in person. Okay, I pull up to the after party. Pretty cool stuff there. I am now in Whitehorse, Yukon. And I might have just eaten breakfast three hours ago, but I've got to stop at this place. And that place is known as Klondike Ribbon Salmon. Oh man, you're quick. Thank you very much. It's great. Halibut chowder, kasha bread, barbecue salmon skewer. Looks delish. Pretty good. Thank you. Sometimes, yeah. I have I have a house in Minnesota, but I like to travel a lot. Hi, nice to meet you. I think my eyes were bigger than my stomach. Can I get a box to bring that stuff with? Yes. Oh, like Top Gun. Like Top Gun. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I have safe travels back to Germany. Thank you. If you want to watch my YouTube videos, it'll help me. Okay. Man. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Sometimes, man, you just got to pay it forward. Yeah. Put some positive energy out there. I'm leaving Whitehorse now, and I am heading toward Alaska. This is the final stretch before I finally hit the giant state of Alaska. Six hours. Let's let's get it.
How you doing? Good, how are you? Just you inside? Just me. Any dogs? No dogs. Alright, where do you live? Uh, Minnesota. Duluth, Minnesota. Alright, you have a good day. Thank you very much. We're in Alaska. We made it. Now we're on the owl part of the owl can. Oh boy. Anchorage is 420 miles away, baby. Here I come. I just saw a sign that I passed mile 1250 on the Alaskan Highway. So adding that with the amount of miles that I had from leaving home, we are at 2,800 miles, baby. Oh, it definitely feels like 2,800 miles. absolutely exhausted and in Anchorage. We made it. I'm not gonna lie. I almost tapped out there day two. Was not the most confident person ever. But we did it. We're here. I'm gonna take the next couple days rest up and I'm so excited for the content that I'm gonna be able to get for the channel here. So thank you guys for tuning into this episode. As always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.